You, you think it was gonna pop in in episode 12 or whatever the hell this is? It's gonna be like episode like... Uh... Do you want me to check? No, it's gonna be like episode probably 15 or 16. 15. Or 16, yeah. There's currently 14 episodes uploaded. Oh, okay. So if you uploaded all the episodes, it's gonna be 15. Or 16. I see. Depending on how long it's been. I don't know, because... We talked for like half an hour before we started recording. Wow, well, it's, it's been like, it's been about 15 minutes so far. So yes, yeah, so this is gonna be- Welcome to the next episode! Yeah, hey. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, we, we have a great, um... I I'm still caught up on how your sister thought, uh, that guy played Sebastian from Little Mermaid. That was like a week ago! I, I, I didn't even remember that. Mostly because I just... You know, I, I uploaded everything last night, so... I, uh, so it's kind of in my, in my brain. Except for the Mega Man footage. Well, that's on my computer at home, that I, and you, you don't... You gotta upload that shit! I actually really want that footage, because I... Th that is my crowning moment of achievement! It's mine too, remember? We both... I know! You gotta upload that shit! It's so good! I know. <clears throat> like the at last, last episode of Sherlock, good. Oh, I haven't been watching Sherlock, I don't care. Oh, uh, the last episode was so fucking good. Although it does really- it kind of annoys me that, like, I went to, uh... You can kill horses now! Congratulations! Well, thank you. I, I went to, uh, like, a Barnes Noble. Oh, from factory. Oh. I went to Barnes Noble, like, a while ago, and I saw, like... They were selling, uh, Holmes novels, right? Oh, yeah. But, like, on the cover was, like, Benedict Cumberbatch and What's-His-Face. Like... And, uh... 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 Oh, I know this guy. Um, 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 I, damn it, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I never, no one ever knows. I just watched it yesterday, goddammit. Is, is it Gregory or something? No. Oh. I don't know what his name is, but like... Uh, I got IMDb this now, damn it. One is like, now, um, when people think Sherlock, they think of like friggin... <clears throat> like Sherlock Holmes, they think of Sherlock, and that... Art Freeman, there you go. And that kind of bugs me. The show was really fucking good, though, I, I, so... I'm sure it's fantastic. I know it's fantastic. I've watched it. <laughs> the last episode was so fucking good. I can't, I can't, I can't overstate how good okay, the last episode was. But, like, I don't, it just bugs me because I'm like, I, I, I think they should be separate, and, like, the fact... Well, you know, they, they do that with everything. As soon as a movie comes out... Yeah, I know. They, they change the books to match the movie. Yeah, but... I have, you know, the original Holmes Omnibus with the original, like... Illustrations, and I'm like, Th those, nice. those are, well, like a, a collection of all of them anyway. Um, and I, I really think those are fantastic for obvious reasons. Uh, uh, the only thing I know about Sherlock Holmes is from Sherlock and from the episodes of uh, Next Gen, where Data is Sherlock Holmes. So, and those are great episodes. So, and Data already knows how to play the violin, so it works perfectly. Okay. Both the actor and the character. <coughs> Who was it? A? I forgot. Do you know? Um. Uh. 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 I suppose the answer is no then. Uh. Uh. Brett Spiner! There we go. Steve, do you know what the title of this episode is gonna be? Uh. Uh. Brett Spiner? Oh, heavy. Uh, uh. I make the titles, goddammit. Uh. Yeah, and even even when I when I do make some, <laughs> you change them. You, you change them, you know. <laughs> like uh, you suck. Well, the only one where like we agreed was Vixen World. Vixen World. <laughs> we both said in the episode it had to be Vixen World. <laughs> well, for very obvious reasons. Fucking Vixen World. I I I think I've like I may have shook his hand once after getting an autograph or something. I don't know. <laughs> You need, you need to cut that hand off and save it for posterity. Uh, I don't want this. As a national artifact. I don't think so. I really doubt that. I just had this feeling that's not the case. Why? Would I lie to you? Yes. Damn it. You found me. Would I lie to you to your face? What? You heard me. Oh, cheese nuggets. I always forget to leave a... There's no way in hell you're gonna die, so... No, 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 no. I, I always forget to leave a guy for, uh... For, uh... To, to protect Merlinus. Uh, who? Oh, the Frenchie Red Yeah, so I'm gonna have Marcus do that. 
Oh, I, I have Guy. I'll use Guy to do that. But you're not gonna use him. No, I'm not. Was there ever any doubt there? I just don't. No, not real. No, we could use the shitty archers. No, she's Rebecca is good. She's quite archers are terrible on fire. No, no, in, in, okay. So in like in Awakening, they're garbage, right? But they're not they're not half bad in uh in this game. <laughs> they just don't do enough. They really they really don't. Uh, being honest. And they die as soon as they get into melee range. So you got to protect them half the time. Well, it's uh, you know. Maybe just as pure you're in it. Every form. So um, let me think. Um, so Steve, how's your playthrough of Octodad going? I haven't played it since I recorded it. Oh, I see. I just haven't had the time to record it again. Oh, I mean, you know. And I haven't had time to edit it either. Oh, so. right, that's fine. Well, uh, one of my friends. Probably do it this weekend. One of my friends and I put this in quotes. Which... And he's gonna die. Congratulations. One of my friends and I put this in quotes. Just got into editing, or like he wanted to, you know, learn it and get good at it. So um. Because he's a tech junkie and he has like a $1,600 computer, and surprisingly, he's also one of the buffest men I know. Um, Critical hit, motherfucker! He, uh, he, he sunk. He bought a high quality condenser mic and a 720p uh, webcam. Dude, recruit him to do all of our editing for us! Uh, he, asked, he asked me for advice on how to edit and stuff, so I don't. Here, I'll, I'll give you some things to, to edit to practice. Yeah, see, I, I just want to say this actually, uh, this is going to be my own undoing. <laughs> we already have people working for us. This is fabulous. I meant, I meant this. The, the fact that I, I left the guy in the corner, but someone appeared in the corner, so... Uh -huh. Hey, look, it's Marcus. I'm going to actually attack someone with Marcus. With the weapon that you actually gave him for once. Yeah. Instead of just slapping people. Oh. The, the Fire Emblem equivalent of Splash. That is... not... true. That has not been increased to 400 attack in, the, uh, in Gen 6. Yeah, so I saw a thread a while ago, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. Um, Genius. Yeah, I sent it to Steve, and it was like, um... It's like, okay, so... Let's assume Gen 12 just came out, and let's discuss. It's like four years in the future, and Gen 12 just came out. Um, let's discuss. <laughs> discuss. And it's, it's marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> because it is very funny. Yeah. And they still haven't done the, the Hoenn remakes. They're teasing those, but I don't... I don't really... I don't... I want the goddamn Hoenn remakes. Well, I want a Mega Infernape, but we can't all be happy. They're gonna make a Mega Infernape. Yeah, they're going to eventually. Huh? They're gonna do Megas of all the stars eventually. Yeah. Also, I don't, I don't like, I want a Mega Blastoise and Venus or X and Y as well. I think it's not fair because I thought Charizard was really lame. Well, because Charizard is the most popular yeah. starter. Yeah, but I never understood why. He's not cool. He's a motherfucking dragon. He's just a, he's, yeah, he's just a dragon. There's nothing, nothing unique. He's a motherfucking dragon. There's nothing unique about him. I know the internet's going to hate me and we're going to lose all our subscribers. All five of them. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> at the time of this posting. Yes. Because I, I, cause you know, everyone loves Charizard and I don't, apparently. But like... And Raymond, don't forget that. Raymond? Raymond! Everybody loves Raymond. Steve, I heard, I heard my brain. What? What? Boy. Oh, you've done worse, sir, come on. That was, that was, that was lame, yeah, come yeah, on. I know, but like... I know everyone loves Raymond, but everyone, everybody hates Chris, you know. And that other show that has the same, uh, general title structure. I don't remember the name of. What? Everybody loves Chris. hates Chris. Oh no, because you just mentioned that. Oh okay. By the way, there's some other one that follows that same general structure. By the way, that show was actually pretty funny. You need, well, it's not on anymore, but it was. Oh, yeah. I, I, when it was on. I haven't seen it in like 12 million years, so. Really? You haven't seen it since the uh, the Earth was still cooling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, since before the Earth. I didn't know Chris Rock was around back then. Oh, That's pretty oh, impressive. He's, he's been around for a while, man. Though. Longer than Morgan Freeman. Mm, I don't know. That's a hard. That's a hard. I don't know about that. It's a hard call. Apparently, Morgan Freeman knows how the entire universe works, so that's been around for a while. And he's apparently God. So, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I believe that. 
There's a post on the Reddit day that somebody sent uh, Morgan Freeman a letter asking them to marry him, and they said no, I'm sorry, and sent him an autographed picture. <laughs> I feel like... Say, I'm sorry, uh, keep dreaming, I feel, Morgan I feel Freeman. Like that at a, uh, at like a recording of him saying that is good enough. But you could have married Morgan Freeman. That's a way better than an autographed picture. Well, um, I guess. You guess. Sir, you know. I suppose so. No. Uh... You, just, you just don't want a minute. So, uh, what's your favorite thing on the Jimmy John's menu, Steve? Where the hell did that come from? Uh, I ate Jim and John's for lunch yesterday, so... So did I! Well, I'm sure our circumstances for doing so were different. <laughs> uh... Are we really gonna talk sandwich preferences yeah, now? Sure, why not? And we've done stupider things. Um, <laughs> my preferred sandwiches are the number 8 and the number 9. What are they called, Steve? I don't know. Um, 8 is a roast beef and ham. And number nine is the Italian. I, Though I do occasionally get the Turkey Club. I enjoy the Turkey Club, and I also, oddly enough, enjoy the Beach Club. Which one's that? Uh, the one, I don't know what number it is, but it's like the one where it's, there's a, it's a Turkey Club with avocado. Oh, that's like number 14, I think. Yeah, I get the bigger sandwiches, because I'm, I go there pretty hungry. The other side doesn't exist. It's, it's, it's just the right side. Oh, okay. For you? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's how you want to do it. That's how every man should do it. To it. Hey, look! Bows are completely useless! Hey, they're not that bad. You bitch they are. And I wouldn't say mages are useless, but no, they're actually really good. Well, yeah, that's because the enemy sucks at resistance. Everything except other people that don't cast magic pretty much suck at resistance. This is true. So surprisingly, the owner counter to mages is not mages, but at the same time, it's also mages. Well, I'm... it's a weird paradigm. Yeah, I... yeah. So, well, they can resist attacks, but they can't dish attacks. So, um, I, I, I recently, I haven't played the game, but I, I saw the ending for Final Fantasy Thirteen Three, aka Lightning Returns, and I got, I gotta <laughs> say, the ending, the, as in the last two minutes, is fantastic. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's played through this 80 hour game for the last two minutes. Oh no, no, it wasn't worth it. It would not have... I mean, I played... 13-1 is a good game. I, I will say it's... Well, it's not a great game, but it's a good game. I'll give it that. Oh god. And I will argue... Oh, well, you're those guys, you're dead. I'm, uh... How, how do, is there a word for the F word that's not the F word that I can say without swearing? Um... Farfadugan. Yeah. I'm bad. I'm Farfadugan. Except the fact that you're completely fine. Yeah, probably. Because markets. Well, and I have Urk. Which is the which is the name even stupider than the ones I normally come up with for D and D. Uh, <laughs> you have to admit. I'll give you that. Like what what, what would you call him? Vargas. Um. No. That's a pretty Stevie name, you know. It actually is. <laughs> <laughs> like I have no. I would call him Blastor, the Invincible. Oh. <laughs> Which is actually named a Barbarian I once tried to play. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of something I saw. Blastor, the Invincible. The Splinter Cell Co-op Theater, which is hilarious, by the way, uh, from classic old X-Play, about about oh. two guys named Bob and Steve. Uh, only Bob gets del uh, delusions of grandeur. So one time he decided that he was not going to be... So he actually should be named Steve. Yeah, really. He decided he's not going to be Bob anymore. He's going to be Thorax, the Impaler. <laughs> that's right, I remember that. Yeah. Thorax the Impaler. Oh wow, that's an old joke. I know, X plays like a 12 billion years, well it's not on anymore, but like, you that's know. old joke. I remember that from like, elementary school, wow. Hey, we've been around a while. And... I don't know, Blastor the Invincible is pretty good too. Uh, but then he, he decided to rename Steve into Steve the Vagina. Yeah. 